a handprint on a window may not seem all that strange to you, but the occupants of the royal stag think otherwise. The Wyfiles became interested in the royal stag in Datchet when we heard stories that a child's handprints were seen constantly on a window. So, was it someone playing a childish prank on the occupants, or is there a more sinister reason why that handprint keeps appearing? That's what we're going to find out. I've been here for nearly nine years, and I first became aware of the handprint before we actually moved into the pub, various people had mentioned it. But to be honest, it was something I didn't really want to look for at all when we first came here. But after some time, people started pointing it out. And at one time, it was, it was so clear, even from the other side of the pub, that you couldn't avoid seeing it. And I've looked for it on a regular basis since then. I've been drinking in the pub for a very long time. Um, I suppose I first saw it maybe about 10, 15 years ago. Um, it appears mostly when the window's been cleaned. I was fairly sceptical to begin with, especially seeing as it seemed that you could only see it at certain times. And after a while, I began to realise that the times you could see it best were after the window, windows had been cleaned. So it did cross my mind at one stage that perhaps the window cleaner was helping us out a little bit with the psychic phenomena and adding his own little touches. So one day after he'd been, I went round with the cloth and tried to clean off anything that, that might have been added on there and realised that the more it was actually cleaned, the clearer you could see the image. And really from that point onwards, I've always believed in it. Uh, sometimes it just appears and fades away. You don't see it for ages. Now there are two legends that go with this handprint, so we asked Jill to tell us about these stories. The first one is where the little girl is supposed to be in the graveyard, which is just behind the pub, and her father is inside the pub enjoying himself. She's outside on a very, very cold night, and while he's inside getting drunk, she's outside freezing to death, and presumably at the point of her death puts her hand to the window and leaves her fingerprints there forever. And the other one is basically the other way around, that she is presumably the landlord's daughter and her father is outside in the graveyard involved in some sort of brawl. And he gets stabbed to death and she's watching from the window and puts her hand up to the window to show her distress at the moment of his death. But if these are well-known local legends, couldn't kids be playing tricks on the occupants of the pub to scare them? I can understand that people would think that, it's an automatic reaction, but as I've said, you, you can't clean it away. Um, I've talked to regulars who've been drinking in this pub for 20, 30 years, and people who I would trust, um, who assure me that the glass has been changed, um, at probably more than once, but certainly once in, their, in the time that they've been drinking here. We've cleaned it, so, and the pane of glass has been changed. So, over the years. As soon as glass was replaced, the handprint just reappeared. So, um, no, nobody's having a, a laugh with us. And what about the photograph? I'm not sure when that was done. Um, it, it's fairly recent, but it's it's very effective photo. Um, and it's very useful that we can show people what they should be looking for. Because it, I think some people get the impression they're going to be able to come in and see a very clear handprint on the window. It's not quite like that. It's, it's an image. We decided to get an expert to take a look at it. This is what he had to say. I've had a look at it. And to me, it does seem very real. Certain parts of it do indicate that there was something there in, in the past. Even though I haven't seen the negative on, on the camera it's taken on, I do believe by what I can see, it does look real to me. And it looks uh, very genuine. And what about the two local legends? We decided to invite mediums Keith Hudson and David McCready along to see if they could verify either of these stories. There is the father and the daughter, 
Uh, the wife had already died. And um, what were you saying? Yeah, I was saying how the ghost of the daughter doesn't really seem to be here at the moment to entertain us. This is the trouble with the TV. They don't show up when you want them. Uh, but there is like a residue ghost of the father in question. He seems to be an alcoholic character. And he's been left over in this building. I think that's what we're more here to do today, is actually release the dad rather than the daughter. She would have been about ten years old. Um, there would have been something here, not this chair. There would have been something like a, a cabinet or something that she stood on um, because of being the age of that where the hand would go. And that's what we was looking at. I don't think she actually died. I think, you know, it was like, you know, and you've got an atmosphere or something and it leaves a residue behind. And that's your residue of watching this funeral of either a mother or something happening out there. And I think that's what's happened is it's a, like a residue of her that's left behind. The situation here is that uh, daughter's gone, but we'd like to see the father fully removed from here because he's left over. There's quite a lot of other alcoholic ghosts scattered around the bar in here already who've been entertaining us earlier today. So how do our witnesses feel about findings that touch on the people in the legends but are not the exact same stories? It's, uh, it's a new theory. I haven't, uh, haven't been given any indication of that one before. Um, it's, it's very interesting. I think the, the idea of some sort of ghostly alcoholics in a pub, obviously it's something that you'd expect in some ways, but um, there are a lot of people that would say, I think, that in this village there's, um, there's a tendency for people to get slightly more alcoholic than they do in other places. Um, possibly the, the um, presence of somebody like that, I don't know, maybe egging them on has got something to do with it, I don't know. Fascinating idea. So, did the daughter actually die by the window, or was she perhaps mourning the death of her father? And how much does alcohol play in this entire story? It's rare in the story to see such strong physical evidence of the paranormal. But it's stories like this, and evidence like this, that will help scientists discover more about the link between our world and the next.